वेलकम टू लोकसत्ता यशस्वी भव नाव इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर आर्टिकल वी विल स्टडी द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आस्क इन द पेपर नाव इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक यू हैव लर्न अबाउट द थेरम ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ सिमिलर ट्राइंगल्स द रेशियो ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ टू सिमिलर ट्राइंगल्स इज इक्वल टू द रेशियो ऑफ द स्क्वेयर ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड्स दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द थेरम ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ सिमिलर ट्राइंगल्स आफ्टर दैट इन द टेक्स्ट बुक द गिवन वन स्मॉल एक्टिविटी इन अ टेक्स्ट बुक दैट सेज दैट the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the square of corresponding heights or altitudes which is equal to the ratio of corresponding square of corresponding medians which is also equal to the ratio of square of corresponding perimeters and you can also add over here that with the other ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of square of corresponding angle bisector segments the common mistake which is done by the student is If you write the theorem, ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the square of corresponding sides, then only you write the name of the theorem as theorem on areas of similar triangles. But if you are writing the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of ratio of heights or the square of ratio of medians or square of ratio of perimeters, then don't give the reason as theorem of areas of similar triangles. Then in such case, you have to just write the entire statement. of the theorem of areas of similar triangles and instead of sides you replace the word height or medians or perimeter or angle bisector segment for example if you are writing a1 upon a2 is equal to h1 square upon h2 square then you write the reason as the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the square of corresponding heights instead of sides you change the word as heights or if you are writing the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of medians then instead of height you change the word as medians do not write the reason as a theorem of areas of similar triangles if you are writing the ratio of areas is equal to ratio of square of corresponding heights or the square of corresponding medians the theorem on areas of similar triangle is applicable only when the triangles are similar and if you are writing the ratio of areas is equal to the ratio of corresponding sides then only the use the word as the theorem on areas of similar triangles there are various theorems you know that are given in the first two chapters and i have already told you that for theorem the method has to be textual method only but for the sum or any proof any logically and technical method is accepted here here i am going to give you few examples where you can solve a, a one particular sum by different methods in the end you are going to appear a board exam with entire textbook so it's not necessary that if the sum is given in a particular Uh, chapter you cannot use any other method which is given in the next chapter for example in the first lesson of similarity in exercise 1.6 we are given a sum where you have to prove three sides of triangle are given and you have to prove this triangle as 30 60 90 90 now you can prove this triangle uh, particular sum or you can solve this particular sum either by two ways either first by using converse of pythagoras theorem and then use trigonometry which is the next which is a next chapter uh, which is a next chapter or you can use converse of pythagoras theorem converse of 30 60 90 and angle sum property of triangle whichever method you feel comfortable you feel easy you can do that it's not necessary that ki if the chapter the sum is given in similarity you cannot use trigonometry or in trigonometry you cannot use similarity it's not like that in the end you are going to appear for the board exam with entire textbook similarly the same in the same exercise one more example is given about perimeter of quadrilateral abc cd you have to find the various angles are given again this sum you can either solve by using 30 60 90 triangle theorem or 45 45 90 triangle theorem or if you are well versed in trig with the trigonometry you can also use the trigonometry over here so in a method is up to you you can use any method which is logically technically correct to you and which is suitable to you one more example which is given in a textbook in exercise 1.5 that says that prove that 3 times the square of any sides of equal triangle is equal to 4 times the square of an altitude in such proofs you know you first have to draw a diagram and from the diagram you have to write given and then from that you have to write to prove again there are various methods are it either you prove it by pythagoras theorem or you can prove it by apollonius theorem or you can use by 30 60 90 triangle theorem whichever method you feel easy and comfortable you can do by that method let us deal with the two these two examples and uh, see what the mistakes can be avoided over here in the first example the two triangles which are similar that is abc is similar to def the areas of two triangles are given the corresponding side of 
uh, triangle DEF that is DE which is given to you, you have to find the, the side AB that is a corresponding side of triangle ABC. Now as you know that the two triangles are similar and we have to find the corresponding side of a triangle ABC, then we can use the theorem on areas of similar triangles because here I have written the ratio of areas is equal to the ratio of square of corresponding sides. That is why you are allowed to write the reason as theorem of on areas of similar triangles or you can write in short A1 upon A2 is equal to S1 square upon S2 square where A1, A2 are the areas of two similar triangles, S1 and S2 are the corresponding sides. In second sum, the corresponding altitudes of two similar triangles are given which are 6 and 9. We have to find the ratio of the areas as given in the, in the textbook. They have given a small activity in the textbook that if the two triangles are similar then the ratio of areas is equal to the ratio of square of corresponding heights or altitudes but you see here the reason is not written as theorem of areas of similar triangles. In this case you have to write the reason as the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of square of corresponding altitudes. If you are writing the ratio of medians then instead of altitude you change the word as medians. If you are writing the ratio of perimeters say instead of altitude or median you change the word as a perimeters. In this case do not write the reason as theorem on areas of similar triangles because it is applicable only when you write the ratio of square of corresponding sides. As I have already told you that for theorem the you cannot change the method for the theorem. You have to use a method which is given in textbook but you can add the extra steps or reasons which are missing that is always an added advantage. But when you talk about a sum or a proof, then you can allow to solve by any method which is logically, technically correct. As far as possible for 4 and 5 marks question, write in detail, do not skip any steps, write all the reasons and very important thing, do not write any short forms which are not given in a textbook, only use which are those which are given in a textbook. Now we will see one more example where you can solve a sum by a different method or uh, various methods. For example, in the textbook in exercise 1.4, a sum is given that in triangle ABC we have PQ is parallel to BC and area of triangle APQ is equal to the area of quadrilateral PBCQ and you have to find the value of BP upon AB. Now we will we'll solve this particular sum by different methods. As we know that the two lines are parallel and you have two triangles over here, one is smaller triangle that is APQ and bigger is ABC. We can prove them similar by using AA test because they have one angle common and we have one pair of corresponding angles. So first we will prove the two triangles similar. As the two triangles are similar, we can apply theorem on areas of similar triangles. So step number two is you write the ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to we get AP square upon AB square. The reason will be statement number one and theorem on areas of similar triangles. Then instead of area of triangle ABC by using area addition property, we can write area of triangle ABC as area of triangle APQ plus area of quadrilateral PBCQ that is called as a area addition property. As the area of triangle APQ and area of quadrilateral PBCQ both are equal. So instead of PBCQ, if I put APQ, it will become APQ plus APQ that will become twice area of triangle APQ which we can cancel from numerator denominator. We will get AP square upon AB square is 1 upon 2 and if I take square root from both the sides, I will get AP upon AB is 1 upon root 2. Till here the sums remain the same. After this, you can find the value of BP upon AB by three different ways. Method number one, first I will find the value of BP by using invertendo and dividendo. I got a value of BP over here and then I will find the value of AB, AB I got it by cross multiplication and then what I have done is I have divided BP upon AB. You can see here, here I got AB value, here I got BP value. The next step is you divide the BP upon AB, put the values and you will get the answer. This is one method. In this answer I have rationalized the denominator. If possible you can rationalize the denominator because you have learned in standard 9th in the search lesson. This is one method. Second method is again you take this ratio and this ratio you subtract from 1, subtracting ratio from 1, then by using betweenness we will get directly the same value over here, again the answer remains the same. In the third method, this ratio you cross multiply, you get AB is equal to root 2 into AP. You can write AP as, in the diagram as you can see, AP is nothing but AB minus BP because A dash P dash B. 
and then open the bracket, rearrange the terms and again you will get the same answer. So this shows that one particular sum or a proof can be solved by different methods. Whichever method is easy to you, whichever methods you are comfortable, you solve by that method but make sure you write in detail especially for 4 and 5 mass question. I am sure you have gone through the articles also and the videos also. I am sure you all the queries are uh, very much clear but still if you have any queries please write, uh, write us uh, on uh, www.loksatta.com I am sure we will try to clarify all your queries and the doubts.